It's Katie. Welcome back to another Animal Crossing New Horizons Island Tour. Today we have the utmost pleasure of touring the incredible island of Aurora. This is by Shishi on Instagram and oh my gosh you guys, she describes this as an intricate town with not only one, two, three, four, or five houses, but six fully decorated houses. So if you like interiors as much as I do, then you guys are gonna really enjoy this island as well. Grab a snack, it's gonna be a long one. With that said, if you're new to my channel, also welcome. So happy that you're here. Hopefully you hit that subscribe button and join this awesome community that happens here in the comments. With that said, let's go ahead and just dive right on into this. So look at this map. Holy smokes, there are so many houses. I'm really excited. Also love how clean this layout looks. It just really is so pleasing to look at. So we have Shishi's house up here and then we have Ruoro, Ru wait. Ruo, Ruo. Oh no, I'm not going to be able to pronounce these names, you guys. But here are all of the six houses right here. And I am so excited to see every single room. And then for villagers, we do have Dizzy, we have Judy, Sprinkle, Apple, Rudy, Jambet, who I actually do not see terribly often, but she's so cute to me. Whitney, Marshall, Eric, and Fang. And here is the dream address on the screen. Also, please go give Shishi a follow on Instagram. She has an incredible map there as well that I'm going to use as a reference point. But let's dive into it. We have a lot to see. So of course, right here we have this incredible entrance and I am getting those intricate town vibes right away. I mean, this is going to be a really beautifully developed town. All right, let's go ahead and cross this bridge, which I believe will take us right to the Able Sisters over here. Yeah, look at that. Okay, so we have the Able Sisters right here out of the airport, which is so nice. You know how when you fly on a plane and the first thing you wanna do is just change your clothes? <laughs> At least that's how I feel. <laughs> so that's way you can do that. Just grab a, new, uh, grab a new sweater, get a new dress. Oh, and this is a cute little sunbathing spot. And then this is like her little beach hangout area, which is so, so cute. Hello, I wanna say hi to you. Oh my gosh, we're gonna have six people to say hi to. Um, yes, I do fancy a glass of wine, 100%. How did you know? You know me way too well. We are best friends now. <laughs> and that's on that. Oh, cute. Okay, so this is like a sweet little beach hangout spot where you can come and have like, I don't know, maybe a margarita or, you know, some rum. That's really cute. Okay, cool, let's go back over this bridge, even though we just went over it. <laughs> let's make a little loop here. And then up here, it looks like there's a cute little spooky area to the right. Oh my gosh, how cute is this outdoor cafe? That is precious. I feel like I never see these fruit items being used as often as I would hope, but they look so great. So if we sneak back this way, it looks like there is a little Incline. Oh, wait, must say hello. <laughs> Incline. <laughs> Welcome to Aurora. Thank you. I'm so excited to be here. And it looks like this very much is a town square, which is really cool. Amazing. So this first house back here, it looks like on the map is labeled as an entertainment center. So let's see what that's all about. I'm really excited. my gosh how amazing is this room I wasn't expecting a restaurant this is so great oh my gosh I love the double tables too it really feels like you're coming in to get either like some sushi some ramen this is a beautiful Asian inspired restaurant I absolutely love this all right so definitely a restaurant is a dunzo this is great what's in the back room. Also, if I do not give these rooms a ton of time, there are six houses, so I don't want this video to be so long. Hopefully you guys do get the overall aesthetic for everything and feel. Oh, and then we have a cute little bar. This is an adorable like dive bar feel. 
Oh my gosh, again, the orange fruit table looks so cute with those green mums on top. That is cute. And then you have a little jukebox and then a pinball machine. <laughs> Definitely feeling the entertainment center vibes. Love that. Okay, let's go to this right side and see what's in this room. We have a gym. I never see gyms in homes and why? I don't understand why there are so many great items. And this is such a well done gym. Like literally every piece of workout equipment that you could imagine is in here. Oh my gosh, and then jock villager. Both of them are jocks, right? As posters, how freaking cute. Yep. That is such a creative idea. Oh my gosh, I love this gym. That's so cute. It would be fun to use those new reactions, like the workout reaction in there too, and take some pictures. That's adorable. And the left room. Ooh, how cozy is this? Wow, I love this. So I'm gonna take a guess here that this is like a massage parlor or, you know, um, like an Asian spa. I definitely get that vibe. Obviously it has beds in it, but they remind, like these beds definitely remind me um, because they're so uh, flat as like massage tables. Oh yeah, there's a robe on the wall. This is definitely like an Asian spa. Ooh, that's so cool. So well done too. Like even though there's bedroom furniture in here, I got that immediately. Like I definitely got that vibe immediately walking into the room. So hopefully I'm correct. <laughs> All right, two more rooms in this first house, which is also known as, of course, the entertainment area. Oh my gosh, how fun is this? Okay, this is your karaoke room. Look at how adorable. Have y'all ever been to a karaoke place that is indoors where you can rent like private rooms? They have one in Los Angeles, um, or they have several in Los Angeles where I live, specifically like in K-Town. And this is exactly what that reminds me of. Like you, you would have the lyrics up here on the screen and then you sing and you just lounge around in the couch. This is spot on what that is. And then you have a little bar in the back. Oh my gosh, this is so good. Definitely a well done entertainment center. And let's go downstairs. Whoa, it's like a gaming room. How cool. You have your switches, you have your arcade games. This is sick. Like, this is so cool. On my island, I, I wanna have one house um, that is, you know, like a typical house with typical rooms that you would find in a house. And then I wanna have a second that I just kind of make really fun rooms. And this gives me such inspiration for like a game room or an arcade. And this wallpaper too. Oh my gosh, this reminds me of, um, <laughs> of a uh, Pizza Planet in Toy Story. The arcade that uh, is like space themed. I always wanted to go there and um, it exists like in Disneyland and Disney World or maybe it was just Disney World not Disneyland but uh, suffice it to say always wanted to go and like to the real one in the movie and it doesn't exist in real life which is so sad it should okay so I think what I'm gonna do y'all is kind of explore this island by making my way to each of the six houses like that's going to be the most effective way to do this tour. This town square too is so cute. Okay, where is house number two? So it is going to be back here to the right. Okay, okay, okay. This is such a sweet town square. Oh my gosh, it really is like so intricate, but I like how easy it is to navigate. Like it's not super cluttered. It's still very clean. 
this bridge. I love a good man-made bridge in this game. I also look at that double bridge act action happening on the right. Uh, we're gonna have to explore that in a second. Okay, so this house, Okay, so this is one of the main homes. So this one I'm guessing is like actual, like a house, house. <laughs> oh my gosh, this living room is so pretty. It's so modern. And it looks so good. You know what this room reminds me of? Uh, for whatever reason, it reminds me of playing The Sims, which I also thoroughly enjoy. I love The Sims 4, it's one of my favorite games. But like this interior very, it like has Sims vibes to it. I don't know why, I'm not, I'm not exactly sure why. How pretty. All right, let's start with this room first. sweet little kitchen I wasn't expecting it to be colorful with that first room being black and white but this looks so good I love a good color themed room especially in a kitchen like this is the happiest kitchen I've probably ever seen makes me want to like make like a lemon cake the creativity on this island I, I already know is gonna be incredible I mean we've already seen it that first whole entertainment center area like holy smokes and back here <gasps> what I'm sorry I would like to just come and live in this room this is so cool oh my gosh this is the house that Julian deserves I love astrology um, and I love this room. If you are also into astrology or natal charts, if you want to know a little bit about me while we're in this room, I feel like it's fit to say, I am a Libra sun, I am also a Libra moon, and I am on the cusp between being a Aries and Taurus rising, but I'm more so a Taurus rising. But. Um, I have like a huge stellium in Libra, so um, lots of Libra energy happening in my chart. Oh, how cool is this office? Wow, this is giving me like, it's not quite like cottage core vibes, but it's like really woodsy and cozy. I really was not expecting this room in this house. This is so nice. I love the trophy case. That's one of my favorite items. Oh my gosh, is this like KK's studio? How did I miss this? Whoa, how cool. So this is like definitely a production room for music. How did, I didn't even notice it because of the um, albums on the back wall. Oh, Nikki's on. Hi, Nikki. Okay, now let's go upstairs and downstairs. Wow, this is such a fun powder room. This is adorable. I love seating areas. I love that she used a large room in her house to be like a bathroom powder room. This is so good. So, so good. downstairs oh my gosh and the coziest bedroom ever I also love this like split office vibe oh my gosh and of course the um, wallpaper is stunning too this is a really well done bedroom Right, so that's it for the first main house and yeah so impressed I'm so excited to see like so if that's one main home I'm guessing that there's another one and then I don't know what the other houses are we're just gonna have to 
refer to the map that she has on her Instagram account and kind of go go with it that way. Okay, speaking of map, <laughs> let's look for house number three. Okay, so let's go up and see her museum and then we'll go back down and get that house in the middle. These bridges are so pretty. Oh my gosh, and this cute little cafe right here. <gasps> Whoa, okay, this museum entrance. Oh, hold on, I wanna see if I can get like a better kind of viewpoint of it. That is so cool. Absolutely love it. Also, hi, you're cute. Welcome. Oh wait, did we already talk to you? Maybe we did. I'm definitely gonna get them confused since there's so many. <laughs> Absolutely love the museum. I love the pyramid that's just floating in the front. Oh my gosh, and the concept of like a little gift shop outside of the museum, how cute is that? Love it. Oh, how sweet. Hi, Marshall. Oh wait, this is the view. This is the view. Look at that. Oh, sorry, Marshall, I don't mean to push you, buddy. That is so cool. Oh, Marshall, he's so cute. I've actually never had Marshall, but I know everyone absolutely loves him. Okay, so I'm gonna have to find out a way to get down. Okay, there's resident services, and I woke up there, so I think to go this way like down here yeah okay also look at this cute little area just while we're here a nice little seating area oh I love that oh wait and there was a restaurant up this way and I don't want to miss that like I said you guys this is gonna be a long one but I mean Holy cow, like, it's worth it. Oh, so this is the sweet little restaurant area where you can have, like, music being played. Yeah, there it is. I thought I saw it from a distance. Oh my gosh, how cute. Love that. All right, let's go back down and get to that center house. Which I think to her map looks like it's supposed to be a hotel. Oh, look at her next cranny. How cute. She has a little diner outside. Now that's adorable. That is so adorable. Oh, this must be it. Hotel. Perfect. Okay. So cute. Lobby. This is so cool. It definitely feels like an intricate, like expensive old hotel, you know, like a really old but still refurbished hotel, like one of the Omnis. Oh my gosh, those security cameras, I die. How <laughs> cute. Oh, and look at this room. Okay, so this room is like very Asian inspired. I love the contrast of the red and the black. Also, how smart, like this is a hotel, so obviously you are gonna have both a bathroom and a like living and sleeping area. So that's really smart. Nice. I love this dual seating area as well, right here on the left. That is so well done. I love when people do like hotels or cabins and then every single room is instead of being identical, like a lot of hotels are, they're all different. Like they have their own personality. I think that's a really great idea and a really fun way to kind of flex your creative muscles and just try different things and experiment. A blue room. Oh, this is fun. Oh my gosh, and the fish on the wall too. This island 
also has a great job of really sticking to like certain color schemes. Like, it's pretty difficult, I would imagine, to really match like certain bathroom furniture with bedroom furniture, but like by incorporating those simple panels that tied in both the purple and the blue, I mean, it, it's genius, it works. Let's do the basement first, actually. Something I don't typically do. Oh, and a super well done laundry area. I love a good laundry room, but I love that this is like a community laundry room too. And these are like great colors. Also, that dresser looks so good. I feel like I never used that dresser, but it looks really nice. So cool. And upstairs. This is an amazing master suite. I love how like bougie this room feels. Like it truly feels like a penthouse. You know, you have this really elegant dining area, the super fancy antique furniture. This is so good. Oh, there's that sink, that sink that I love. Also, I found out that's just the basic sink and you just would custom design it. Or I mean, um, you know what I'm talking about. You'd customize it to be that color. Like it's just the basic sink this whole time. I love it. All right, let's keep exploring. Right, sorry about that y'all I just ordered some Starbucks because it is fairly early in the morning for me and uh, your girl needs some caffeine so <laughs> let's take a look at the map and see where the fourth house is okay so I think we're gonna go to this one that is in the bottom uh, let's actually do top right first we'll go there first and then we'll make our way down to the bottom Oh my gosh, this walkway. This is a really cool area. I was not expecting this. Is this the area? I think this is the area that she considers her science fair. Is that right? That can't be right. Wait. Oh no, it's down here. Okay, this makes much more sense. This is like her science fair area. That is really cute. Oh, that's adorable. <laughs> that makes a lot more sense. I was looking at these tables like, is this? <laughs> adorable. Oh my gosh, this town is so full of just absolutely amazing things. Like up there we have a Chinese tavern right here. <gasps> cool. There's just so much to see. I have no idea, like, the thought process that went into this island had to have been just a, a really long process, I would imagine. Oh, look how cute this is. Oh. So this is like a lot of villager houses over here, which is super cute. So we have a little neighborhood for all of the villagers. Cute little ducky pond. So cute. Okay, let's make our way back to that back house because we need to see it and we can come see this on our way down. Oh my gosh, look at those seating areas down there. That's so cool. Okay, so this house, before we go in, okay, so this is the main home. Look at this living area. Well, this is so stunning. 
I love this wallpaper. I think it's beautiful and it really looks nice with those white pieces of furniture. Oh my gosh, this bathroom? Are you kidding? This is so fun. This reminds me of like a Vegas nightclub, but in form of a bathroom. <laughs> That's so cool. Well, this is just amazing. Oh my gosh, look at those villager posters. Oh my gosh, stop, so cute. Oh my gosh, look at all of the villager photos on the wall. That's something else. This is a really fun like workroom, but also bedroom. Oh my gosh, all those villager photos. Oh, I love it. Absolutely love it. this room on the left. Oh my gosh. This is like a YouTube, like, I feel like it's like, that's like a makeup um, thing on the right, isn't it? That's so cute. You have your camera, you have like your jewelry. This is for like a beauty YouTuber or someone that like does fashion. This is so cool. Wow, this is adorable. I didn't realize that. So that's the uh, turntable, isn't it? I mean, I guess you can customize it however you want. Is that right? Oh my gosh, that cute little fax machine too. That is genius. Genius. And now I want to go binge watch like of Jaclyn Hill or I don't know <laughs> she was the person I like watched years ago like I don't know like 2015 2016 oh my gosh how fun is this room too it's definitely like a recreation room but also like a work room like there's still that office space these are really fun vibes trophies or plaques they're plaques so cool all right and is that it no we didn't go downstairs did we <gasps> no we didn't <gasps> fun Oh, this is cute. Okay, so the camera down here definitely makes me think like we're making some cooking videos. We are doing some like taste test kitchen kind of stuff. This is a really fun kitchen. And those cherry speakers, I love. What a fun house. This entire home has just been like a treat to kind of explore in. Oh my God, this entire island has been an entire treat to tour around in. That is amazing. Okay, so if I go up here, this is like a little nature area. So it's one of the few parts on the island that is like a little bit more natural. Oh my gosh, this cute little pumpkin patch. I love how like thoughtful and purposeful everything on this island really has been. I mean, truly like, there is so much thought put into this, and I know I said that earlier, but it's so good. <gasps> Hi, cutie. That's her, I think. Oh, not quite yet. Have a look at my shop. There's a shop. There's a shop. Oh my goodness. Okay, so here are all of the villager houses. Oh, yes, let me look at the map again. Make sure that we're going in the right direction, because <laughs> you all know me. <laughs> I will definitely mess up. 
Okay, yeah, so that was the back main house. So if we keep going down this way, we should run into, um, what is this home up here? Well, we'll look when we get there. Hi, cute Eric. I love the little villager area. And then down here, oh my gosh, I love how they have like cute little seating areas for the villagers themselves. That's adorable. Oh my gosh, Judy. Judy the cutie. It's through here, and oh, is this it? <gasps> yep, and you guys, this is a school, an entire house dedicated to being a school. Oh my gosh, I'm excited. Let's go. <gasps> How cute! Oh my gosh, so you walk in and right away it is this amazing library. Oh my goodness. What an genius idea too for an entire house and the lockers, stop, I, I love it. Oh my gosh, okay. So you walk in and then there's like this great library and hallway. Then over here on the right, okay, you have your bathroom. All right, all right, all right. So you got your bathroom area over here. Also, how smart is it to take those villager posters, put them on the wall, but like they very much color coordinate everything that's happening in the room. Genius, absolutely genius. Oh my gosh, and the bulletin board in the little janitor area in this corner. That is so smart. go to this back room. Ooh. So this is like a botany area or maybe like, um, I guess it could technically be a home ec room, but it definitely reminds me of like where you would learn um, some herbology. This is really fun. I love all of the crowns too on the wall. How creative is that? It's like you learn about plants, but you also get to craft them. Now left room time. I am loving, if you guys like interiors like me, you're probably having an absolute blast, but uh, this is insane. Okay, so this is the home ec room for sure. Oh my gosh, and look, you have the Able Sister posters. Are you kidding? I wonder if like they are guest speakers here, or maybe they even like teach the class. This sewing room, oh my gosh, and the cogs on the wall. So creative. This is so creative. Okay, so we have not gone upstairs yet. And here is like, you know, your classroom. This is so good. It really feels like a classroom. And then you have like the anatomy back there, you have like the telescope. So this like, in theory, I would imagine is a science classroom, but you know, it could be a classroom for really any subject. And downstairs. Oh my gosh, and I think after this, wait, have we seen every house after this? Oh, how cute. Oh my gosh, and this is just like a kid's room or a dorm room or, you know, maybe it's a boarding school. This is adorable. So you have your desks, you have your bed, but you also have like a little TV and sink. Okay, yeah, so this I'm guessing is like a dorm or living area for students, which is just so cute and so well thought out. I'm obsessed with this school. Oh my gosh. Um, yeah, I think we saw all 
found it, didn't we? Okay, let's check the map. And then I think, I think we only have one more house left. Is that right? Also, this is so cute. Just having a little play yard outside of the school. <laughs> oh, look how pretty. I love a good sunken waterfall moment. That is so stunning. So the last house is on the beach and I know that one resident said it was like a shop or they said like check out my shop. Oh, it's right here. Oh, it's a gift shop. So cute. Okay, let's look around the beach just a little bit so that way we can see what's around. Okay, so there's a little beach hangout over here and there's a fishing spot. Oh my gosh, our campsite. Of course, can't forget the campsite. So cute. And then she just has these really sweet beach areas. Oh, I love this fishing dock. So cute. All right, yeah, let's, um, let's go in the gift shop. Oh my gosh, I'm excited because if this is every, every room, decorated as a gift shop. That's insanely cool. Whoa! Oh my gosh, so this is like your beachy area where you can get a snorkel, a wetsuit, you can get some surfboards. Cute. So this is like your beach gift shop, you know? Like when you're on vacation and you want to pick up some knickknacks or like maybe some shovels or um, buckets to make sand castles. So cute. <gasps> In the little toy area. Oh, well, of course you have to have a toy shop. And this wallpaper makes it feel just so whimsical too. This is the room I want to shop in, the toy shop, of course. I say that and then I'm sure like the next room <laughs> that I go in, I'm gonna be like, no, actually I want to buy something from here. This is brilliant though. I love this mermaid wallpaper, how it like, it really feels like it could be like a, like a theme park gift shop or um, anything. <gasps> Ooh. You know how I said the next room I'm gonna go in, actually I want to buy stuff from here. Well, it's happening. Cause your girl loves some candles, loves some fragrance diffusers. Wow, okay, this is like spa goodies. Which is perfect because in the, um, wait, was it in the hotel? Or was it the entertain, it was the entertainment center that had that spa, wasn't it? Oh my gosh, so creative, so creative. Never have I seen an entire house dedicated as like a second shop on the island beyond Nook's Cranny. Oop, I almost forgot this room. Oh my gosh, a little pet store. Oh, oh this is so sweet. You can come get a little pet maybe just some little accessories to bring back to your puppy or kitty or bird or bunny or snake, fish. Oh, that's so cute. That really made me happy. Okay, what in the world could these two be? Is one gonna be like a storage room? Whoa! Costumes! Costume shop. And just like clothes in general, but like primarily costumes. Cute! Well, of course. Oh, how adorable to put all of the airport items up there on the left. So cute. Oh my gosh. Stairs. <gasps> a 
bookshop. And a music shop. Oh, cute. This is insane. Like, this whole gift shop premise is absolutely insane. There's something for everyone, even the animals. Wow. Okay, so we have, let me just double check. I think we have seen every house. But with that said, I still want to give um, more credit to like the actual island itself so we can walk around a little bit more. So we saw, okay, we saw that one back there. We saw the middle one that was like one of the main houses. We saw the school, the gift shop, the entertainment center. Oh wait, we saw, wait, one. Wait, have we, have we seen this one? Have we seen that one? Oh, that's the hotel. Yes. See, there's so many I couldn't even remember. So cool. Okay, so let's go, um, hmm. I want to go on the back left side of the map because that's where we definitely did not explore. Um, because I think there's more villager houses back there. Oh my gosh, this cute cafe pattern. Adorable. Oh, this is so pretty. I love how like matchy everything is. It makes my heart so happy. Um, yeah, so back left corner, if we go through here and then I think to the bridge that's up this way, that'll take us there. But I just want to appreciate like how beautifully laid out this whole map is. Like it's so pleasing and also so easy to get around. Can we just talk about how appreciative that is, especially as someone that does island tours? I mean, I definitely appreciate it. Like you don't need a ladder. You don't need any of that. It's just, it's just so nice and so effortless to get around. this way oh here's that double bridge moment yep wow that's beautiful I want to be in this one look up <laughs> gotta get a little walking bridge moment cutie okay so I do believe we need to go this way and then up here to, um, I think there's an incline up here. Oh no. Oh no, this is where my directionally challenged brain starts messing up. Oh no. <laughs> How do we get to the back left corner? <laughs> okay, so go, go down there, go over the bridge. Like literally, I think, where we just were. It truly is like so, so incredibly refreshing to be on an island that just has like really easy like pathing. It's just, oh, hi. Welcome. Okay, you are so cute. I don't want to push you because you are the creator of this island. Oh, okay. Yay. Okay, I might actually have to. You're coming with me now. You're coming with me. We're going this way. I'm holding you hostage. <laughs> there we go. Okay, so if we go back through resident services and then go up this way, then I think this should be the way to go. Yeah, because we, we came up to this entertainment center, but we didn't keep going back. Oh my gosh, cute. Okay, so we have like a nice little fish market back here. How adorable. Oh, and there's a bridge back here. I don't know if I even saw this. Look at this cute cafe. I love the use of like different bridges too. Like she has the brick one, but she also has the stone one. And both look so nice. Hi cutie. Oh my gosh, you are just precious. Look at this walkway too. Oh my gosh, me and Sprinkle, just enjoying the view. Yeah, 
okay so we didn't see this villager area oh my gosh look at the rows of flowers there's like one of each color <gasps> stop look at this like space oh wrong way look at this little space <laughs> theme right here <laughs> so cute Yeah, and there's just like a little beachy spot right here. Oh, is this her? Wait, is this technically her secret beach? Oh wait, no, I think it's behind the museum. Never mind. But this is cool. I love that. It's just like a little resident hangout area. Wow, this is so good. Also, you guys, while we are walking this way, I figured it'd be a good time to tell you that in 2021, I am, my goal is to post two videos a week. Um, I believe I'm going to do Wednesdays and Fridays. I did a poll both on Instagram and on Twitter, and they were kind of split 50-50, so I was a bit unsure on um, which way to go, but it did seem like there was a slight, slight gain on the Wednesday-Friday vote as opposed to Tuesday-Thursday. So I think that's what we're gonna do. But just wanted to let you guys know. Oh my gosh, this cafe. I just love it. I feel like there's still so much to see and explore on this island, but I mean, I very much have a feeling that like, there's no way to see it all like <laughs> without visiting like 10 times. There is a little boardwalk area. I'm gonna see if I can get to, to that because I do wanna see it. It's in the back right. Here it is, so it's back this way. Oh, cool. So this is like a secret boardwalk back here that I totally missed when we were back here earlier. How absolutely precious is that? This is so cute. Those purple hyacinth lamps are absolutely everything. Oh my gosh, and it drops you in a little restaurant. Wow. Yeah, I am so glad that I made the trek over here. And then I believe if you keep taking the boardwalk all the way back, so how beautiful is this little like rock area? If you keep going, I'm pretty sure if you like do a little sneak around. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Now that is a secret beach if I have ever seen one. Oh my gosh, like it really is tucked away and super secret, which is like perfect. That's perfect. That's what it's supposed to be, you know? I am just floored. This is so fun. I hope you guys have enjoyed this island tour so much. Like these interiors of these homes have truly blown my mind. And yeah, I don't, I don't know what else to say other than that. It's just everything is beautiful. With that said, you guys, I think we are going to end it here. I'm sure there is so much more to see and explore on this island, so please go visit the dream address. I'm going to link Shishi's Instagram in the description box below, as well as the map that I used as a little reference guide. Uh, if you know me, I find that so incredibly helpful. <laughs> so again, go give Shishi some love. If you guys are new here, make sure to subscribe to my channel, give this video a thumbs up, and let me know on what kind of tour I should conduct next. With that said, hopefully y'all are having a wonderful morning or afternoon or evening, wherever you are in this big old beautiful world, and I can't wait to see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye!